Next data type is dictionary. Dictionary is an unordered collection of key value pairs. It is also unordered elements, but here we are maintaining key value pair and it is mutable. Whenever you have huge amount of the data, then if you want to access the data, if you want to retrieve the data, in such cases, we use dictionaries to optimize the speed of the retrieving. So with help of the keys, we can retrieve the values easily. See the syntax to create the dictionary. Dictionary variable name, assignment within the curly brackets. We need to write key one colon value one. One key and respective value of that key. Key two and respective value of that key. Like that, how many key value pairs you want to maintain in your dictionary object, that many you can create. See the example, suppose I have key 1, key 2, key 3. Let us say these are the hall ticket numbers of the students. And we have the values, value 1, value 2, value 3. Let us say these are the names of the students. With help of the dictionary, we can map key to its value. Just like we are mapping hall ticket number to the student name. Now see, key 1 is mapped to value 1. If you know the key 1, then you can find the value 1. Key 2 is mapped to value 2. Key 3 is mapped to value 3 and key n can be mapped to value n. The key should be an immutable object. Already we discussed which one is mutable, which one is immutable. Always key should be any immutable object. Value can be any valid Python data type. So many data types we have. So you can take any valid Python data type in place of value. We use keys predefined method to get the list of the keys of dictionary. And we can use values predefined method to get the values of your dictionary. One value can be assigned to more than one key. The meaning is duplicate values are allowed. Now let us try to implement dictionary data type. So here I am trying to create a dictionary and dictionary name is capital. Elements should be in the key value pair. Now observe USA is a key and Washington DC is a value of that USA. Nothing but Washington DC is the capital city of USA. Comma. Key value France. Colon. Value of that key, Paris, then comma. Next key value pair. In this way, you can create any number of key value pairs. Now, if you want to print this, use the print and your dictionary object name. Execute it. Now, this is the output. Now, creating a dictionary with different types of keys. So, the key may be a, any immutable object as we discussed just now. All the numeric values are immutable. Integer, immutable, float, immutable, and a string is also immutable. Like that, you can take any immutable object in place of key, and you can take any valid Python object in place of value. I am trying to create a dictionary where key values are integer values. One is a key, and one is the value of that key. Two is a key, colon, value of that key is two. This is string type and so on. Now let us try to know the data type of this interdict. In the same way, I am using float values in place of the key. After that, this is important point. We can use any immutable object in a place of keys. So tuple is also immutable object as we discussed in our last session already. So in the place of key, I am taking a tuple. This is one tuple, colon, and value of that key is pen. So here I want to maintain some items. Parker, Reynolds, Camlin, these are brand names of the pen. In the same way, LG, Whirlpool, Samsung, these are the brands of refrigerator. This is the meaning of this example. Execute it. Now see, data type of integer dict is dictionary, data type of float dict is dictionary and the data type of items also dictionary type all these are valid now next point is 
values or list type it is valid because list is what mutable so what is the rule values can be any valid python data type so in place of the values nothing but after the colon generally we write values in place of the values you can write any valid python data type so if you observe in this example fruit is a string type key is a string type colon value is a list type comma color is a string type key is a string type colon value is a list type then i want to print the values now observe the second example in this case i want to use list in place of key but it is invalid because in the previous video we discussed already list is mutable but the rule is keys should be immutable so if you trying to create the list in place of keys you will get an error execute it first example is valid because we are using list in place of values that is valid you are, we are getting the output but coming to the second one that is dictionary 2 we are getting error unhashable type list when we use list values as a keys it is not possible to implement hashing it is not possible to implement mapping that is the meaning here we can use duplicate values but suggestible method is we should not use the duplicate keys see the example here i am entering some staff details staff name and role of that staff so staff name is tejasri string type role of that person is officer in the same way sri is the staff name role of that staff is manager now here you need to observe the point is i am using officer two times ramu is an officer tejasri is also an officer so duplicate values i am using and next important point is i am using the key sri two times here we have sri as an account officer before that we use the same key sri but at this point the role of Sri is manager. Then run it, observe the output. What is the role of this Sri? Sri role is account officer. The reason is the last value we assign to that key Sri is account officer. That only will be stored. Even though we used duplicate values officer and officer, that is valid. We are not getting any error regarding to that. Next, if you want to get the complete keys, we can use the predefined method keys. Now see, this is my dictionary. I want to get list of the keys in the dictionary. Just run it. So the keys are 501, 502, 503. Suppose if you want to get only values from your dictionary. Now you can use the predefined method values. Create a dictionary and use dictionary object name dot values raju ravi srinivas these are only values of the dictionary next data type is boolean data type boolean data type variable can store only two values those are true false any boolean variable can store either true or false these only two valid values for any boolean data type object now very important point is in true and false t should be capital letter F should be capital letter because these two are keywords actually. If you write lowercase t or lowercase f here, that will be invalid. Python internally represents true as 1 and false as 0. When we evaluate any expression, that may returns any one of these boolean values. See the example, this is one expression. If you want to print this, it will return one boolean value that may be either true or false depending on your expression here the expression is 10 less than 18 and so this is true so it returns true value so whenever we use boolean function for any valid data type of the python that may return either true or false when you use boolean function with the argument any string value that returns true except empty string for all the non-zero values boolean function returns true for the zero it returns false and if you take any list tuple set or dictionaries 
as an argument for the boolean that returns true except the empty list empty tuple and so on now let us try to implement boolean data type boolean one is my variable i am trying to store a value true here i am using same type predefined method to know the data type of the boolean one run it observe class boolean so data type of the bool one is boolean type now see i am creating one more object boolean2 i am assigning the value false where f is capital and run it this is also valid boolean object but see one more case where i am assigning the value true but in this case t is lower case letter run it now here we are getting error and observe the error name true is not defined there is no definition for the word true where t is lower case letter next point is we get boolean values while evaluating any expression i want to get the result of this boolean expression run it this expression is evaluated to true because 89 greater than 25 is true now 89 less than 25 is false so that is evaluated to false when we use boolean predefined method empty objects returns true we discussed that point already so when we use empty string that returns false when we use zero values that returns false if you take any empty tuple list that also treated as false now execute this observe the values all these are internally treated as false now in the second case i am using same boolean method but i am giving some string name some number and i am giving one list it is non empty list some values i am giving then what will be returned by this boolean in this case whenever it has some sort of data run it this returns true whenever boolean function has some sort of the data it returns true so in summary let us try to understand which one is mutable which one is immutable see byte array list set dictionary are mutable types and what are the immutable objects all numerical data types like int float complex data types or immutable objects boolean string bytes range tuple and frozen set also immutable data type take your knowledge what we have learned from this video how to create set in python is empty braces creates set object or dictionary object is set allows duplicate values what is frozen set when we use dictionary data types is a dictionary allows duplicate keys when will boolean method returns false if this video is useful to you subscribe the channel watch and share it thank you